Hi, this is Doug with IdahoMMA.com. I'm here with Josh Hernandez at uh, MMA Hardcore. Thanks for your time, Josh. I appreciate it. So now, uh, tell me, you're uh, the head boxing coach here yeah. at Hardcore, plus you go other places. Tell me about that. All right, so um, actually I'm a pro boxer from California. I came up to Idaho, and I ran into Gabriel Miranda, who's a champion around here now. Uh, I worked with him in the beginning about maybe a year ago. He had OK hands at the time, and he fought Wagner. Beautiful performance, got better. And after that, uh, it started taking off. I got the word got out, you know, uh, Freddie Ortega from Combat Fitness. Combat Fitness. I started working with him. Great guy, good hands, really good hands now. Even before me, but even sharper now. Um, Colton Vaughn, I work with him. His hands are getting better. I mean, it just started snowballing, you know, and I started working a little bit with Daryl Flores. I worked with him a little bit. Good guy, good kid. Um, and yeah, I'm the main, I just fell into this and I love it, you know, I mean, working with good people here at Team Hardcore and every one of them is just like a great guy. So I'm digging it, man, I'm digging it. So you probably have more work than you know what to do with, huh? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> yeah, they call me up, man. I, I work with a lot of people, I mean, back to back. I mean, yeah. sometimes people like Colton and Gabe and all them and could have fights all together at once and yeah. I need to make room and time for all of them and I live in... You know, so far away in Caldwell, come to Boise and stuff, but it's worth it. It really is. It's worth it to. It, it, I like to see them succeed. You know, right. so that's what I'm here for, man. I love, I love the. I, I bring the Mexican, the Mexican style of boxing, to the MMA. You know, I adapt it to the MMA style, and I. That's a lot I want to see nowadays. You know, I mean, people want to see exciting fights, and that's the style I try to teach. Oh yeah. And and slip into you know a little bit of the Mayweather style too. You know, so slip some punches. Gabriel Moran will be doing that has been doing that, you know, with Casey Escola, his yeah. fight, he was slipping and dodging, you know, it adapts to the MMA style and make it very exciting, make it a very exciting fight. So, well, you know, I mean, it's it's called MMA, mixed martial arts for a reason. You know, all fights start standing up. So, I mean, you have to be a good boxer, a good striker, you have to know what you're doing, you know, or you're going to get hurt. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's how I teach the fight, my fighters, my fighters here, you know, I try to teach them to to stand up and, and be smart and slick, but to also bang, to make an exciting fight, to, to make it very, worth watching, you know, and even if you're slipping, if you slip a punch just a little bit, it's pretty, like, whoa, get everyone excited, and, and, and that's what I bring, you know, and, and uh, that's why I try to teach these guys, and uh, it's working out. Yeah. I mean, if you haven't seen any of these guys, like Freddie or Gabe Miranda or Colin, you'll see, man, I mean, if you haven't seen them already, it's they're doing great man they're doing great so well last time I, I saw Gabe fight you know Casey and and you can just tell that uh, you know I mean he was he was slick he was quick he was slipping punches and so you're the man responsible for that uh, behind behind the scenes you, yeah you're the guy <laughs> behind the scenes behind the scenes making it happen <laughs> yeah so now Josh let, let's talk about uh, what's your future in mixed martial arts oh like I said I was a pro boxer in California and um, I've been working with um, Colton and them, and I did a little rest in high school, so I'm thinking of bringing my boxing in to the cage myself and do my premier fight here in Idaho, you know. So I've been, I went to California for five weeks, and with, I believe it's Scott Harper from Samurai Dojo, and he's a great guy, by the way, a great, great guy, teaching jiu-jitsu and stuff. He had an uh, instructor from Hoist Gracie's Academy in Fresno. I worked with a little bit of them, and plus I worked with uh, some Mexican boxers down there to get my butt whooped too, you know. Me, me, instead of me coaching, me being coached, uh -huh. you know, you can never know too much. And uh, here in about maybe a few months, I'm gonna make my premiere in the fight, man, in, in the cage. So hopefully everyone's, just, wait, I'm excited, my girlfriend's excited, you know, <laughs> my family's excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, ang I'm excited too, <laughs> <laughs> anxious, you know, so. Right, so now what weight's that gonna be at? You can be at 145, you know, 145, 135, one in that in that department, you know. I mean, I'm only 5'7", and I want to be a pretty good size. You're going to be big. You're yeah. Be, even at 145, you're going to be a big. Hopefully, you know. <laughs> I hope so. I don't want to be a small fry, you yeah. know, fighting some big guys. I wouldn't mind, but it's a smarter way to do it. And I, I would feel faster. I mean, I box at 147, Oh. you know, so that kind of works with me. So, I mean, that's what I want to do right there. That's a good weight class for me to get it started. Well, and there's a lot of guys here at Hardcore that, uh, you know, you're going to, you, you know, you got an opportunity to spar with that uh, are great. Uh, you know, that leads me to my next question. What's it like 
being here at MMA Hardcore? Oh man, first first and foremost, I mean, right off the bat, family. It, they treat you like family. There's no one that's stuck up. Everyone comes as soon as you walk in, handshakes. Here, my name is this, my name is that. They introduce you. You feel great, right at home. Work ethic. Work hard. There's not there's not one lazy person here. And if they're lazy, that one day, because you always had that lazy day, you know. <laughs> but if they're lazy that one day, they're everyone's like forcing that guy to work hard. So everyone's working hard. Everyone has their own skills. I mean. You just you cannot be in this gym and not get better if you put 100% into it. If you try your hardest, there's no way you can not get better. And that's what Team Hardcore is all about, you know, and just to make one, each other better. That's how it is right here. And I love this place. Well, this is my home right here. Well, I know that, uh, you know, you're making a difference. You know, be, being the, the boxing coach here to all these guys, I know you're making a difference because they win. So, you know, and as far as a fan goes, you know, I can't wait to see you step in there, you know, <laughs> see, see you step in the cage for, for your debut. And, and I'm sure we'll be talking, you know, after this. But, uh, Josh, I want to thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And, and good luck in, uh, in the future. Oh, thank you, man. And I will see you in the future, believe me. All right. All right.